The original game did actually have a chocobo minigame sort of thing that you had to do. There was a swamp between Midgar and the cave that you had to go and cross, and there was a giant snake inside of it that would attack you, and was almost unbeatable at the time. So you had to find some way of getting there. Now, it wasn't actually hard if you knew what you were doing to just sneak by the snake, but the game was kind of expecting you not to know how to do that. So you had to go and do the Chocobo minigame. So you grab some greens, you run outside, you get into a fight over top of some Chocobo tracks, you'd feed the Chocobo, and then you'd kill all the enemies, and then you'd have yourself a, a giant bird to ride. Then you would take that and just cross the, cross the swamp, and then once on the other side, you'd let the Chocobo go, it would run away, and if you ever wanted another one, you'd have to go through the whole process over again, wherever the hell else you were. Riding chocobos in and of itself isn't really all that useful in the game. It doesn't, re uh, aside from that one part to get over the swamp, and much later on in the game, if you're trying to get like the Knights of the Round materia, it makes sense to go and get chocobos. But aside from that, there really, I don't think there was ever a point where I'm just crossing the plains on the world map and thought, okay, you know what? Let me get a chocobo and make this easier. No. Because it takes time, and the world map wasn't so large that it actually made sense to put the effort in to get into multiple fights, taking several minutes just to find a chocobo so you could run to the next objective a little bit faster. Because, <laughs> I mean, you'd waste more time looking for the chocobo. Of course, later on in the game, once you have the high wind, you would get your chocobo, you would capture it, you'd send it back to the stables and use them for breeding populations and stuff. But, for the most part, you didn't need to do that. Now, in this game, I'm going to suspect it's going to make a lot more sense to go and unlock the chocobos in every region that we had to. And it does seem like we're going to need to get to capture chocobos in every individual region in order to have access to them. So this game is going to make a little bit more use of the chocobos than you had in the original game. Final Fantasy VIII had chocobos as well, I think. Although you could rent cars and tickets on trains and crap, none of it really made any sense. I'm not quite sure like what they were expecting, how often they were expecting you to actually do it. <laughs> but like I would, when I'm playing through eight the first time, I rented a car and. Like, you could buy a gas tank for once it runs out of gas and keep going, but, like, the one gas tank was enough to get me where I was going and, and with room to spare, you know? Then after that, I'm like, yeah, running a car is stupid. Final Fantasy IX had chocobos, but it was another one of those, it's not worth it to get it. It also had the chocobo minigame, which I found boring as fuck, so I didn't do that. Uh, Ten had chocobos in... Uh, the Comlands, but it was it was an entirely different thing. It was part of a series of mini games and stuff. Eleven is an MMO. Twelve, did twelve have chocobo? Twelve had chocobos, yeah. But it was another one of those cases where it didn't make a whole lot of sense to get them. So yeah, this game is probably the one that's going to make the best use of them. Well, I, I don't know. In the MMOs, there were, like, mounts and stuff, so it makes perfect sense. But I'm, I'm discounting the MMOs, because it's a very different kind of game. Here we go. Back at the Chocobo Ranch. Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Uh... 
Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Coulda fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <laughs> The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <gasps> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Of course, we don't have the money to go and just buy ourselves some chocobos. The guy was trying to grift us, but, you know, we can't do it anyway. So we're just going to have to go and do a mini game to capture ourselves a chocobo. It's not that big of a deal, but I guess it's what you're going to have to do with every region that we hit. So we better get used to this idea. It's not that far of a run. This chocobo did not run very far. So we just sort of have to get out there. New weapon clouds carrying something that they did in the remake, and it looks like they're carrying forward it into this 
is to not simply have a progression of weapons that are getting more powerful the deeper you get into the game. Every weapon behaves differently, but none of them are really just absolutely better than other weapons. So it's going to make sense to just to hold on to the Buster Sword, even if I'm not using it right now. Because as the game progresses, you might switch back to it, because it makes more sense to use the Buster Sword later on in the game. Anyway, here's our Chocobo. Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's go bag us a Chocobo! Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Now, here is something that I found to be a little bit of a downgrade or a little bit of a disappointment in terms of the graphical fidelity of this game. You have this mini game here as you're moving through these fields of flowers and brush and stuff. Now, it's been a fairly common thing in video games for the past couple of generations where even like... When you're moving through tall grass or whatever, there's some kind of an animation in the grass itself. Now, this can be done as, simple, as simply as just having it rustle a little bit as you're passing through it. Uh, more advanced games, more modern games, have a thing where they can like actually bend the geometry of the grass or the foliage away from your character as they touch them. Here, we see nothing. Cloud just sort of passes right through it. And it's something that, for the most part, I can just overlook as far as just like a unrealistic or like lower quality thing as you're progressing around in the world map. But here, as you're moving through very slowly and they're basically forcing you to move, to move through the tall grass, it really does stand out that it's that that you don't have this um, graphical assets moving around, rustling as you pass through it. Just seems strange. Throw your rock. <laughs> and here we go. Man, fighting us. And I guess you're just going to hop off now, right? Because <laughs> that fight's over, right? Aww, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> hmm. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. The damn thing just runs off. <laughs> went back to the farm and like, we're going to return back there. Because like, we're just trusting that it went home. <laughs> anyway, it will be there though. But it'll be there in the next episode. <laughs>